When it comes to water cooling, there seems to be a stigma on the internet, and that is bigger is better. However, for me personally, that wasn't the case in previous water coolers I tested, where I actually preferred a 280 mil water cooler like the H115i RGB Platinum over the H150i Elite Capellex. But today marks a brand new for me personally, and that is a 420 mil water cooler with three 140 mil fans. So this is the H170i Elite Capellex from Corsair. And when I first saw this thing, my eyes opened up like a kid at a candy store because I knew what I was in for, where I like the 140 mil fans over the 120s because they give you a quieter noise profile. And I think overall, they do a better job of giving you a balance of cooling and noise performance. But let's get onto the numbers here where we're gonna be testing this with an i9-11900K against my previous favorite cooler, the H115i RGB Platinum. And we'll be talking about the new additions that Corsair have added in. So let's check it out. So first thing is first, when it comes to the performance numbers, we tested with an 11900K, which we've got two different profiles here, but we're actually gonna show up three different graphs for you guys, where we've got the first one coming in with the default power consumption profile. This is pulling about 215 watts direct draw to the CPU itself through the VRM of the motherboard. And what we can see here is that the temperatures are winning against some of the best competitors that I've had in previous chart topping performance. And it's actually beating it by quite a long shot. And another thing about the H170i is that it also does this with some of the quietest noise profiles I've ever seen, especially given this CPU is on full throttle. Now moving over to another chart that I decided to throw in the mix, and this was when we started to overclock it. And here is where the H170i Elite Capellex shone where I was really shocked to the fact that when we overclocked this and we're pulling over 300 watts directly to the CPU and I will say yes it does look a little bit weird we're going from 4.8 gigahertz to 4.9 gigahertz and we're drawing an extra 80 watts that just shows you that the 11900k really tops out at 4.8 gigahertz after that you're getting serious diminishing returns even on good water cooling and so what we saw here was that again, the fan noise was really low given the performance of the H170i with its extra 140 mil length on the radiator and the cooling solution versus the 280 mils and even a 360 mil. So the cooling performance, basically in a nutshell, if you guys wanna get this cooler, then it's going to be that absolute top tier cooling performance for your CPU. So I really, am impressed with what Corsair have done here. But let's talk about straight away, before we get into the other features and what they've done with this cooler, I will say the expense. It's gonna be around 320 Aussie dollars or in the US around 230 US dollars. So it is a step up in comparison to say for instance, the H115 RGB Platinum that has previously been my favorite cooler on the block. However, the H170i Elite Capellex trumps all that completely with both its noise profiles and its cooling performance. We're basically out of the box. If you don't wanna do anything, you're gonna get really quiet noise and really good cooling performance. It's even got in the software, they've added the zero RPM mode, as well as adding the features of linking all the cooling with simple profiles that if you've got a Corsair keyboard, you've also got say Corsair dominated memory, it can all link together and then you can have easy tuned RGB profiles. So the IQ is one of the biggest benefits of going with Corsair's RGB profile. But of course, the cooling performance is the most important thing and Corsair have simply nailed it with this solution. Though one thing to note with the software in the zero RPM mode, if you wanna access this, then you will have to enable it after you've installed the IQ software as it's not enabled by default. Though out of the box, when it comes to the profiles, you will have the quiet profile on the pump itself, which I do recommend keeping it on quiet. I found turning it up just makes noise a little bit more noticeable and it doesn't give you really any benefit to cooling. Though when it comes to the fans, leaving them unbalanced is really good solution in that you won't need to drop it down to quiet or even zero RPM because for me personally, I could barely hear these fans on the balance profile out of the box. I'll let you guys take a quick listen. So 
So there it is with the H170i Elite Capellux. The performance is exceptional, the price is also very steep, and the noise is also exceptional too. Though before I get on out of here, there are some things to talk about, and that is the sheer size of this cooling solution. You will need a massive case to fit it in, in that it's not just 420, that magical number where people like to uh, smoke it up. And um, it's actually quite the contrary with the H170 Elite Capellix in that it's keeping things cool and not really smoking up anything. And those are not my durries. And another thing is too, is that the radiator length will go up to 450 mil. Actually, it's slightly over. I'll put the dimensions up on the screen for you. So you will need, again, quite a big case to accommodate this cooler. Though, that being said, it marks a new era for me personally, where before this, I really liked the 280 mil solutions, but now the 420 solution is going to be my new top favorite. The problem is, is that Again, around here, there's not many cases to fit this thing in. And in fact, I've only got one case that's coming in where I will be uh, installing this cooler. So limited mounting options, but if you're willing to build the best of the best, this is certainly going to be a cooler that will accommodate that. You've also got the option on the cooler itself to refill the uh, pump and that's got its own little screw. And you've also got the ability to change the top plate where they give you an additional white diffuse solution that you can change over if you want a different look coming out of those 33 Capellex RGB LEDs. In terms of what this cooler will mount to, there's lots of different solutions to choose from, TR4, AM4, LGA2066. I'm sure it'll even fit the upcoming Z690 Older Lake solutions, but it has been leaked that 1700 will maintain LGA1200 compatibility. And that's about it for today's video. If you enjoyed this one, then be sure to hit that like button for us and also let us know in the comment section below what you think of the 420 solution versus the 360 versus the 280 versus the 140 versus the 120. Which solution have you been rocking yourself or are you just strictly no water cooling at all? Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always, just like this question of the day here, which comes from Pass Squizzle the Shed Man, and they ask, hey Bri, what's your preferred mechanical keyboard switch type? Tactile, linear, clicky, etc." So when it comes to the mechanical switches, I actually like the clicky, the blues. I mean, nowadays they have different colors with the actuation points, I think. But, but I actually don't use the blues personally because they annoy people around me. People just get triggered by the noise, which is sad because you know there's always a trade-off, right? That beautiful, clicky, tactile feel. Then you got the noise that accommodates it. Some people don't like the noise. I love the noise, but it's just what it is. Nowadays, I actually prefer the shape of the keyboard where I'm using an ergonomic keyboard for when I'm doing a lot of typing. But when I'm actually not using my ergo keyboard, I'm using the Cherry MX Silvers, which are a linear switch. So in a nutshell, it doesn't really bother me what switch I use. I can type on anything. I guess that probably wasn't the answer you were hoping to hear. Anyway, I hope that answers that question. <laughs> I'll just catch you guys in another tech video very soon. If you stayed this far, be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell to get the content as soon as it drops, and I'll see you next time. Peace out for now. Bye.